Hey everybody, I'm Chris Massey and welcome to the Chris Massey Music Show here on the American Hearts Radio Network. Tonight is episode 12 of season 2 and the 28th overall episode of the Chris Massey Show. We appreciate you all tuning in. Well, it's hard to believe, but we're going to have an election going on in this country before too long. In August, the Republicans are going to be having a big debate. Uh, they got, I don't know, I think uh, i think the whole state of Texas is running for president, the way it looks right now. But, uh, but anyway, all of these candidates are all talking about how, you know, we need to get the economy, get the economy great again. Well, you know, the economy, it may get, it may get good, you know, but I got news for everybody tonight. The economy in this country is never going to be great again. It's just not going to be. Now, I know people are saying, you know, Chris, you're a pompous ass, and what is it that one guy said? I suffer from illusionary superiority, you know, and I'm an elitist and, you know, and full of shit and all that other stuff. Anyway, let me explain before you uh, start uh, losing your mind there. Okay. All right. When this country started in 1776, we've always been a capitalist nation. And for 240 years, capitalism has worked very well here in the United States. But now, 240 years in, capitalism is starting to create some problems. Now, before you start calling me a commie and a socialist and overdosing on your blood pressure medicine, just sit back down and have a beer and relax, okay? All right, so here's the deal. The 400 richest people in the United States of America have as much wealth has the whole bottom half of the working class. That means that 400 people have as much money as 150 million people in America. Think about that. That is hard to believe. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, Chris, if those 150 million people worked hard and applied themselves, they could be like uh, those other 400 people. Well, jackass, that's not the point. Okay, the point is this. The 150 million people are spending about 97% of their money. Now, whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, or a Libertarian, which uh, uh, is a Republican that smokes pot, um, uh, you can all agree that spending money is what makes this economy roll. The more people spend, the better things are. Businesses do more businesses. It creates jobs. It's what makes this country roll. Well, they're spending 97% of their money. The problem is, is that the 400 people are only spending about 12% of their money. That's right. So until you can find a way to get these 400 people to spend more money, the economy is never going to be great. It's just not. To spell it out for you, capitalism in the United States has created 400 people that are so rich that they're hurting the United States economy. How about that, Al? You like that? Hey, go a minute, hey, go a minute. You know, the guy at the quick okay, trip, the guy at the quick trip told me that today. You know, so and a lot of you are saying, well, you know, that's not really a big deal, Chris. You know, it's it's not a big deal. Well, think about this: the way things are going in this country in about 50 years, those 400 families, they're going to have as much wealth as three quarters of the working class. And by the end of this century, when we get to the 22nd century, if something don't change in America, they're going to have more money than the working class. So think about that. Is that what capitalism is really supposed to be? A few hundred people having more money than hundreds of millions of people? I don't think so. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, Chris! Whoa, Chris Massey, man! Whoa, what's up? Will you quit talking about all this politics crap? Wait, you please! Ego's gonna destroy the universe! I need you! I need you to help me! Will you stop laughing and look at me for God's sakes? I said it's all about the sci-fi! What in the you hell know? is going on, yeah. man? You God know almighty. the galactic overlord's gonna destroy the world! The universe! I need you! We gotta save the universe! Chris, we need you! Would you please stop with well, the Well, you politics. need to calm down before we can do anything, Whoa! man. You know, it's all about the sci-fi! You're, you're worse than a damn Whoa! redneck and a Sarah Palin right now. I'll be back and to get you! Wish. You understand uh, me? I'll be back! Whoa! <laughs> you, 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 you.
you, you want a paper towel for your All right, now look, I'm just telling you right now, Michael Oye, I did not sign up for this shit right here, you know. And, um, uh, you know, an, uh, enough is enough. That was Professor Graviton, by the way. All right, when we come back, we'll have the one and only Michael Oye, the CEO of American Hearts Radio. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Leon Smoker. And I'm Rachel Jordan. And I'm Moses Moe from Mother's Finest. And you're watching the Chris Massey Music Show. Hey, man, you remember that time with the new guys open for Aerosmith? I do. <laughs> man, man that, that was awesome. We're back. We're back. Mm. Okay. Enough about politics tonight. Tonight at Grant Field at Bobby Dodd Stadium, the Rolling Stones have uh, come to Atlanta, and I was there at uh, Bobby Dodd Stadium 25 years ago uh, when they played the Steel Wheels tour I was, and I saw them in 2006 at Phillips Arena, which was uh, 10 years ago when, uh, when they were here uh, in Atlanta. Now, the Rolling Stones, the Who... Paul McCartney, even Tom Petty, John Cougar, Bruce Springsteen, Bob Seger. These guys represent a dying breed of musicians. You know, um, they come from an era when music was what was important, not the money, you know. So here's what I can tell you. When Jay-Z is 70 years old, nobody's going to be going to see him, okay? They're not going to be going to see Jason Aldean. And they're not going to be going to see Luke Bryan. And they're not going to be going to see Snoop Dogg or any of this other corporate bullcrap that the uh, record companies put out these days. Because today it's not about the music. It's not about the art. It's about the almighty dollar. Why do you think rap music has never progressed into anything? Because they got a formula that works and they just keep on doing it. There hasn't been nothing fresh to come out of Nashville now and going on 15 years. And they don't care. As long as people keep on buying it and keep on buying it. So, you know, if you go back in history, you'll always find that, um, that art, good art, always lasts. It always does, you know. That's why tonight, about 60,000 people that paid anywhere from 150 to $400 a ticket are going to Bobby Dodd Stadium to see an over-70 Mick Jagger and an over-70 Keith Richards I think Charlie's that old, too, uh, get up there and do their thing. And they do it better than anybody. And it's going to be a crying shame when these guys are gone. And this may be their last tour. I mean, look, Mick's in great shape. But, man, when you're as old as he is, you can fall over dead any minute. I hope it's not tonight. So if you're at the Stones concert, have a great time. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a great night out? Are you in the Atlanta, Georgia area? Are you looking to check out some live, awesome music during the week? They have keno, poker tournaments, horseshoes, and special events. It's all at the Moon Shadow Tavern. That's at 3976 Lawrenceville Highway in Tucker, Georgia. That's the Moon Shadow Tavern. Give them a call, 770-674-2133. Check out their selection of great food, friendly service. Visit their website at msttucker.com. That's www.msttucker.com. Moon Shadow Tavern is a proud sponsor of the Chris Massey Web TV Music Show on www.americanheartsradio.com. Make sure you told them that American Hearts Radio sent you. Visit their website, check out their great selection of food, appetizers, wings, burgers, sandwiches and wraps, steaks and chicken, salads and sides. Also their drink specials. Live music during the week. Check them out. Give them a call. 770-674-2133. ago that uh, I appeared on Real Time, Dennis Aloye's show here on the American Hearts Radio Network. Had a great time. And I uh, got a phone call from uh, Michael Aloye one day, and he said, Chris, we would like to uh, have you host your own web TV show. And, uh, and of course, I jumped at the chance to do it. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, it's a uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've got to have a lot of great guests on here, and it's uh, it's helped my music career, and uh, and it makes me more visible, which uh, when you're in the entertainment business, hey, man, that's what it's all about. 
So anyway, uh, he has made the trip up here from Jacksonville, Florida. Would you please welcome the CEO of American Hearts Radio, Mr. Michael Loyer. All right, brother. Oh, I am, bro. That's what I was goddamn afraid of. <laughs> you know. All right, go Listen, ahead. Man. All this liberal hippie crap. What is up with that, man? Man, I told Come you on. from the get-go, man, that if you, it, if you wanted Mr. Rogers, you needed to get somebody else. <laughs> You no told one. look. You told me no f bombs, yeah, and I had fine. to keep my clothes on. That's the only yeah, two hey, rules you told me, you and I've done that. Listen, Chris, you're doing a great job. Well, thank you, man. You thank are you. awesome, brother. I know I Betty in Hoover, Alabama, so thinks I'm doing good. So glad yeah. you are part of this network, and Ed Caravel with Possum Politics just loves you. Well, he yeah. loves your rant. I know he's a Republican. You're a liberal. We are all just people. Ed's a nice guy. You know He's what? just a little misguided. That's the only thing I want is this country to turn around. Well, yeah. I don't care who's in office as long as they are the right person for the job that cares about this country and protects our borders and brings some jobs and, and, and make this the greatest country that it, you know, that oh, it is. Oh, man, you're making me sick. You sound like a politician. Oh, well, I, you know what? <laughs> you know what, Chris? Thank you, man. Thank you for all that you do. Well, American Hearts Radio loves you, man. Well, thank you, you man. I appreciate the opportunity and looking forward to being here for a long time. I am. Well, man. you know what? We got some great stuff ahead of us, man. We do. We're going to have Sidney Wilson <laughs> from the B-52s oh, on this show awesome. before the end of the summer. We had Moses Moe, man. He's a great guy. I yeah. tell you what, yeah. Dave Tannenbaum. We've had so many wonderful people, Yeah, Mo, man. Mo was over in Sweden this weekend playing a big music festival over there with well, North Finest. Mm -hmm. I might can get LJ, man, a bass player of 38. I talked to hey. him about coming on your show. Uh, Johnny and Donnie Van Zandt, you know, they endorse the network. Johnny right. is waiting for your new Tuckerville CD, brother. Yes, and that so will be out uh, here right in a couple, right in couple in weeks. Hands. Yes, in a couple absolutely. weeks, absolutely. Well, I tell you, man, uh, I'm real humbled to be here with you, and I think, you know, you're going into your third season soon. Yep. And, yep. uh... You know, we've got your Best of Chris Massey DVD Yes, the Best of the up. Chris Massey Show uh, Season 1 will be yes. out. And uh, all the highlights from Season 1, it was a really great season. So. Well, I tell you what, Bruce Shepard's working his butt off behind the scenes to put that together. Really yes, Bruce, nice we really you. appreciate everything you do. Bruce, man, you rock. And Sarah, his wife. I mean, my dad, I mean, who would imagine that this? I mean, you've watched this thing grow, bro. Yeah, I've been here. I mean, it's, it's, it's. And where's my damn rice aroni? This studio hadn't gotten any bigger, but everything else has grown, I guess. I, you know, you know <laughs> you're giving everybody well, you're gonna give me, What are you going to give me, my, a big place with a back line so I can have live bands on here? Absolutely. I mean, I could have had Michael Meyer bring all the Rain Man down here if you'd had, a, <laughs> well, you'd had thank, room for it Thank tonight. Mike for coming on. I want to thank all the wonderful guests. And you've got a wonderful young lady coming on next. I uh, do. A lady named Tracy. I do. And, uh, man... I look forward to this, and I thank the Lord for you and your daughter, Rachel Jordan, and uh, just everybody on board, Chris. Great job, man, and I look forward to your rants. I look forward to hearing you make Al laugh his ass off. You just wait. I'm having <laughs> Daryl Rhodes is going to do a whole, a, poli a whole political show with me right after oh, that man. debate in August. So you it's know what? Be great. I want to give, give uh, a big applause for Daryl Rhodes. He's the one that came on board in the beginning with when we were just radio. Mm -hmm. And we still run his shows at noon. Yeah. Lunchtime, Rhodes all over the map with Daryl Rhodes. So tune in to American Hearts Radio. Check out our web television uh, series that we're producing, Comics on Parole. We got In the Guest Room. We got all kinds of great stuff, man. And uh, I'm looking forward to your new Tuckerville CD, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I've been working on it a long time. It'll be out here shortly. Okay. Uh, excuse me. You got uh -oh. the name of my show wrong. It's keeping <laughs> yeah. it real. Keeping yeah. it real with Dennis Aloy. Dad, what uh, are you doing? Dad, listen, what are you doing? You're messing everything up. Get out of here. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Rice. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I love you, Chris. All right. Thanks, buddy. We got a commercial coming, right? Yeah, commercial break. We'll, we'll, be, be we'll right come back. back. We'll have Tracy Byers. Tracy yeah. Byers. Hi, this is Johnny Van Zandt from Leonard Skinner. My cousin Jimmy Van Zandt's in a tight spot. He needs a liver transplant. So we're asking for anybody who has a nickel, a dime, a penny, whatever the heck you want, you have to appreciate it, to send it to the Jimmy Van Zandt Gift of Life Charity at 1808 Clint's Place, Old Hickory, Tennessee, 37138. I'm reading this, by the way. 
And you can also give to www.jimmyvanzankgivethelifecharity.com. So anyway, God bless you guys. Hope to see you out on the road. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, whatever it is. God bless you. trucks. Oh, really? Not to mention we've got 60 acres of sand off hill roads to ride back to the St. Mary's River. Whoa, if you're so... on four wheelers and you want to get away from everybody and you want to just ride your four wheelers, oh, big trucks aren't allowed to go. Boy, oh, you're a reckless driver. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got my driver's license. Whoa. I think we're smoking under the hood. Is that what that is? Yes. Oh, Boy, it reminds me of my homeland. Well, anyway, he is. Anyway, also, tell them how to get out here to the park. Oh, yeah, sure. You take uh, I-10 to 121 in McClenny. You take 121 north to the Florida-Georgia line. And right on the Florida-Georgia line, just past 185, it's the first property, first road on your right. On your right? On your okay, right. here we go, right? Okay. To the right? Yes. I see a deer over there. Nice. Oh yes, and don't and hit them. How can they? How can they get a hold of you? Give them the phone number so they can buy tickets to these great events. Yes, you can buy tickets in advance. Only ten dollars. They're fifteen dollars at the gate, Whoa. but you can get tickets for ten dollars in advance. Whoa. Call us at the office at 904-786-5503. We're inviting you to yes. the bottom mud pit. Come out to the mud pit. That's Whoa. 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 Yeah. This is so much. I think they're starting to get flames under the hood. You're coming. I think we're going to blow up. We must on fire. We must sing a song before we blow up. Okay. You ready? This is a lullaby. Let's sing together. Please, please, please don't sing. Okay. Okay. Keep riding. You just drive. <laughs> You're watching the Chris Massey Music Show. And by the way, I'm Johnny Manzo and Leonard Skinner. All right. We're back. We're back. Okay. My next guest is a uh, young lady that is an entrepreneur and uh, has a very interesting business she has. She also does some other things that I that I have found uh, quite interesting as well. Uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this interview. Would you please welcome to the Chris Massey Show, Ms. Tracy Beers. Hey, honey. Hey, good, to right, good to see you. Okay. You've got that 10 years younger filter thing going on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we're only from the waist up, so the extra 10 pounds, it really doesn't show up, you know. So. <laughs> now, Tracy, okay, um, tell me and everybody a little bit about the business you have and what it is that you guys do. We do a lot of social media. We help a lot of people learn how to be more visible. We do a lot of branding. Mm -hmm. um, people have to get the word out. They have to tell the story now. We're living in a very loud world with social media. Right. The loudest person wins. That's right. That's correct. Now, do you find that um, when these people come to you for help, are, are, are most of these people clueless, or, or, or do they got some idea of, or do, they, are, do you have to really show them what all is available for them? 
It's, it's a little bit of everything. I, the most heart-wrenching stories is I go to a lot of ribbon cuttings. I'm involved in my city's economic development. And that's the city of? Kennesaw. Kennesaw? Right? Kennesaw. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Kennesaw. Um, anyway, I go to a lot of ribbon cuttings. I see people who are very excited. They've either left a corporate job, saved up a lot of money, taken their retirement money. Mm -hmm. They're going to live their dream. Right. They're so excited. And then they end up being the best kept secret in town. They just yes. don't get the word out. That's right. And they don't, you know, you have to build a tribe these days, and you start local, and you can ripple out. Mm -hmm. The um, the great thing about social media is it made it so that the small guy can play as well as the big guy. Right. It used to be, you know, a long time ago when we would buy television and radio and broadcast, only the big guys could really participate. If that's you were correct. a little guy, you just weren't heard of. That's right. And that's now, what we do here on this network. We offer people a chance to come in and uh, be a sponsor of the show and have commercials, and you can show it on your Facebook page or on your web page. Or, or anything like that, and it's very affordable. You know, like you say, used to, only the big Definitely. guys could afford to do that. You know, it's funny, because uh, unless you've been around forever, like now, there's this, uh, in my uh, construction business, I buy some material from this company that's downtown. They've been around since 1960. I know who you're talking I about. I kid you not, there is not a computer in the building. That's rare these days. They use typewriters. Oh, gosh. They do not have a fax machine. Okay? And... Basically, you give the order, she writes it down, she hand carries it into the warehouse, oh and they get it, and they give you a written receipt. And I asked him one time, he said, look, we've been doing it this way <laughs> since 1962, and we ain't changing. Well, and that's, a lot of the people that I work with have that problem. People our age especially, they right. don't want to talk about themselves, they don't want to promote themselves. They were taught that, you know, promoting yourself is bragging. Right. They don't want to do it, but mm -hmm. you've got to tell your story. If you don't tell your story, nobody will tell your story. That's right. That's right, and you know, and I've had, I had a guy come in one time and he said, you know, Chris, we need to, because I'm old school, I got a filing cabinet, you know, I got my estimates all in, in there, I do have a Rolodex on my desk, how'd you know, yeah, but I've got most of that in my phone, but this guy came in and he had this computer program he wanted to show me, and man, it was going to take me a week to learn it, and I said, do you know how much money I'm going to lose sitting in this office all week trying to learn this thing, and I've never done it. Yeah, but you never. learn it, and you become a lot more... That's productive. true. That's true. Well, my stepson, who is a part of the business, and uh, he's got a college degree, uh, he's kind of uh, taken over that role and got it all going. So he's sure. doing that. I don't have to mess with it, thank God. But uh, that's <laughs> kind of what the background doing Now, it. talking about being visible, anybody that is friends with you on Facebook knows that uh, Tracy is really big into exercise, and you have been doing this power walking thing. And uh, how many days in a row has it been? Three years, 164 days, for so 1,295 days. 1,295 days in a row you have power walked. 1,259. Okay, 1,259, yeah. and you post this on Facebook. Post it every day. And you say now that you go out places and people will see you and say, you're the girl that power walks. And in all honesty, it didn't start out that way. It was almost kind of a joke. I decided on Christmas night, Christmas, all the crazy brick and roll of Christmas was over. I think I'll go walk. And then started thinking, maybe I can walk every day for a year. Let's uh -huh. try it. I started posting it on Facebook, and then it became an accountability thing. Right. Yes. Um, okay. And, and now I haven't missed it. I mean, I've had torn muscles. I had a rolled ankle. You know, I've mm. been through colds and flu and all that. I right. can't miss it. I'm not going to miss it. But it's been a big, great visibility tool for me. I go, you know, like I told you, I go to Target, and people look at me and, you know, where do I know you from? And that's what I, you know, try to get my clients to do the same thing. You've got to increase that where do I know you from mm -hmm. factor. Well, you're on the show tonight because you're power walking. Because yeah. I kept seeing it on there, and I was going, what does this girl do other than walk? Than walk. You know, so I went to your profile page. I saw your business right. and everything, and I told you, you know, the, the fact that uh, you're a Democrat also. Yes, yes. also Don't was tell a anybody. <laughs> Yeah, then I said, well, she would, she would be a, she would be a great guest to uh, to ha to have on the show. Now, um, you guys do websites for people too. Is that we, something you do? I don't do websites per se. I'll help people with navigation and help them with the writing, help them with the design, the programming part. I would hire somebody. Okay. But you know, I can help through that process. So, like my band, we've been on Reverb Nation for years, and it's worked real well for us. Uh, but I need to get a website where, you know, I can sell T-shirts oh, yes. and CDs and, and all that kind of stuff set up, especially with my new record coming out. Is that something your company could help me with? Totally could help you with. Okay. Yeah, and help you get the word out that you're doing that. Okay. And so where you're playing. So how far do you usually walk when you walk? 
I do five miles. So in a year, that's about 1,825 miles. I go through wow. about six or seven pairs of tennis Man, that's like going from Atlanta to uh, Phoenix. It's crazy. 18, 1,800 crazy. miles. But it's, you know, it's great for mind, body, and spirit. And to be honest with you, I'm not doing anything that anybody couldn't do. Right. I mean, you know, if you have tennis shoes, you can that's walk. That's right. And now, so, now, what do your kids think about your uh, your power walking? Well, power walking, they have been really, really good about letting me go out and do what I need to do. And right. I, you know, I've done it at five in the morning. I've done it at eleven at night. I've done it at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. You know, different different things. But the cool thing is, I have so many people that write me and call me. You know, come to me. You know, it's so inspirational. You know, if you can do this, I can do this. If you can do this every day, I can do this three times a week. Right. And it's I know how you know I know what it did for my life, and I know what it could do for other people's lives. Right. Well, you know, they say if you want to stick around for a long time, uh, you know, that exercising is the, uh, is, the way to go. Is, is, is the way to go. So, uh, but, but it is, and like I said, you know, I saw you on there, and um, uh, I mean, we went to the same high school, but I was, uh, I was older than you and, uh, and, uh, and, and didn't know you. In fact, I was surprised when I saw on there that, that, you, uh, that you went to Tucker, and uh, any way you can get yourself out there. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, I have people that watch this show uh, because they hate me. Oh, no. And um uh, and and, I can't and, believe and, that. and and that is just fine, you know. Um, uh, I have this one guy. He's been threatening to befriend me now uh, for about a year on Facebook, <laughs> and he keeps sending me messages saying, He's "I'm been, I, I, yeah, I'm getting rid of you. I'm not going to be your friend anymore." And then another episode comes out, and I expect to have a message from him tonight uh, when when I when I get home, and and it won't be and it won't be really good. You He's going to befriend you. That's right. That's, sure. right. That's right. That's sure. right. That's right. You know. And I'm just going to tell you, if the Republicans win the presidential election, I don't know what. What the hell I'm going to do? Because I am going to get a lot of I told you so's uh, coming coming my way. That, the good that, news is you're memorable, though. That's the thing. That's what I tell people. You got to be remarkable. Somehow you got to be memorable. That's right. Whatever your thing is. My uh, thing is walking. My you know my thing is glitter. Well, they say Rush Limbaugh's audience is about fifty fifty. Really? Fifty fifty people that hate him and, I, I, I and fifty people that like I him. Couldn't do that. You know. So. Uh, so anyway, well, Tracy, it was wonderful to it's have you here to tonight. Here. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, stick around and uh, we'll be right back. Thanks. All right. You're watching the Chris Massey Music Show. And by the way, I'm Johnny Manzo and Leonard Skinner. All right, we're back. We're back. Okay, for being a guest on the Chris Massey Show tonight, Michael Meyer and Tracy Beers will both receive a six-month supply of rice aroni, the San Francisco treat, and a case of turtle wax. That's right, Mike. You can use this turtle wax on that pretty guitar you got, you know. So anyway. All right. Coming up at the Moonshadow Tavern, one of our great sponsors, on the 27th of June. 22nd of June, uh, we're going to have a... Uh, uh, 22nd of August, we're going to have Dennis Aloye and Brian Shirley uh, there doing some comedy and some magic. And uh, I will be at the Moonshadow Tavern on Saturday, June the 20th. I will be appearing with uh, country starlet Gina Gailey. Gina has just been recently nominated for Best Female Artist at the Georgia Country yeah. Music Awards. And you ready for this, Al? What's it? Uh, I myself have been nominated for Best Male Artist at the Georgia Country Music Awards uh, this year. So we're going to be playing there together. It's going to be a great night of uh, country music. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. And remember, like I always say, I always love your woman. Take life as it comes. And when you get the chance, have too much fun. We'll see you next time. <laughs>